Welcome back, Poke Nerds. Today, we're looking at kind of a deck, but kind of not a deck. It's a spread damage deck, but it's just cards put together. It's not actually the deck list. So, we're looking at it. It's absolutely just insane if you can get it going. So, it's a spread damage, so obviously you have to include the Tapa Coco promo. It does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. And it's just good for DCE. I mean, you're spreading damage like it's nothing. So, it's, I mean, it's amazing. But then you have the Decidueye GX. That can do 20 to someone. And then you do the, t at least, if you have two Decidueyes on the field, you can Decidueye twice. Maybe putting 40 on someone, then doing an extra 20 to them. That's 60 per turn for just a DCE, and that's absolutely amazing. But with Force going out of style, that's not going to be absolutely the best, because Force, once it rotates and gets banned, you're kind of in the bad spot. But we also have Weavile, which just came out in the new Burning Shadows set, I think so. And it allows you to do 60 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon and your Pokemon that have an ability. So, not the best to run this deck, but you can still run it, but it's going to put 6 on your Decidueyes, and after, turn after turn, it's going to put 120, and eventually it's going to knock out your Decidueyes, and you're going to be in a tough spot. Then, once you build up all the damage, you can just use Espeon EX, which is not rotating, it's from Breakpoint. And with Espeon EX, you can evolve all of your opponent's Pokemon, and then it will take knockouts. At, like if you have a Gardevoir, it's going to Curlia, and you have like at least over 90 or 80 on it, it's going to knock it out, and then they can't place the Gardevoir next turn, and then they're in a bad situation, and then you're knocking out everything. Best spread damage! That's just the overview of it, how we talk ta tactics. So the deck kind of runs, obviously you can run... Tapu Coco promo, probably two or three. I'm not saying it because it's just a spread damage deck. But running with this, you do 20 to each. We've already explained that. Pretty much as simple. But with Choice Band, you can hit 50 the active. Amazing. And you got the Decidueyes. So running Forest, but I know Forest getting banned, there's nothing really absolutely the best coming in Forest. But with Forest getting banned, it's going to be hard to get out your Decidueyes. But Rare Candy and Decidueye, not the worst but that forest is what you want to run. But until then, run the spread damage deck, and then you have all the opportunity. And if you get two Decidueyes on your bench, you can get yourself an a magical 40 damage. So whatever you want, and then just just going straight through and hitting for 40 to whatever, maybe 50 with your active, and you can hit 40, 50 with the active, you can hit 90 with the active for just a DCE, I mean, that's not the best, and you're not doing anything, but you're also doing 20 to everybody else, and you can do 40 to whatever you like, and then you add in Weavile, but Weavile, I don't know, you might not want to run in this deck because you have Tapu Lele, you also have your Decidueyes, and that's just going to do 60 to them, and you kind of don't want to do that unless you want to devolve your... You can't do that. I mean, Weavile in this deck is just an opportunity if you don't want to Decidueyes, but Decidueyes are pretty good in this deck. But with that, once you rack up enough where it's a stage 2 or 1, or it's basic, gets knocked out, then you can use Espeon EX to devolve... And I can devolve the uh, highest stage and put it into their hand, and then it will take knockouts on all of the on all of the stage ones or basics. So, for an example, you have Gardevoir GX, a really popular deck in the meta right now. And if you say so myself, Gardevoir has 230, and this deck is going to be tough to hit for 230. You can hit with Decidueye for 90. You can also hit for you can also hit for Coco for twenty, but that's not, or you can use the Sidua's uh, ability to allow him to do forty or twenty to anywhere. But in this deck, it's gonna be tough to defeat a two hundred thirty. So you could use Espeon for colorless energy, which goes with any deck you want, and then just evolve it into Curlia, and then Curlia will get knocked out, and then they will have a Gardevoir in their hand, and they'll have to Skecher back all of it, and if you only play one Skecher, and you do that enough where they they only can do three back, you're hitting for a lot of damage and a lot of prize cards. So if you can knock out all six of the Stage 1s at the same time, that's absolutely the best. I thought it would just be a really cool thing to show you guys with this deck. I don't have the deck list, but if you guys were thinking this absolutely best deck right now, 
not the best best, but just like for fun and for like just thinking your opponent was like, what can I do? He can just use Espeon, but then you can't use Flying Foot, but then you still have the Deciduize with two of their abilities, and then you can hit for 40 wherever you wouldn't want it. But if you only have the one Deciduize on the field, you're going to hit for 20 anywhere, and you're just spreading damage like it's nothing. You have Weavile in the mix, but Weavile in the mix, I would only real add Weavile in the mix if you're only running like one Deciduize, but... And it's kind of hard to add Weavile in the mix, but doing 60 to everybody has an ability. If you're playing Gardevoir, you got a lot of them that have an ability. And if you devolve it, you're going to get the Curlius out of the way, and then Gardevoir cannot come in and do whatever it was. So I thought this would be an amazing deck to show you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like below. We will see you guys soon. Pokey Nerds out.